You asked for it, and now we're gonna give it to you. I'm at my local Walmart. We're gonna do the best bushcraft gear on a budget. Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. So on my last video, my giveaway, Fire9350 asked for a minimal budget survival bag. I kind of categorize bushcraft and survival the same thing. A lot of the same items go together. So tonight, we're gonna do the best bushcraft bag or kit that we could put together with $100 at my local Walmart. So I'm here at the outdoor section and we're gonna keep everything in mind, the five C's of survivability, uh, basics. And guys, just keep in mind, any items I list in my description, obviously you click that link, I get a small commission for it. I am an Amazon affiliate. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually proven to be a little bit of a challenge. I've just covered the five C's of survivability uh, and I'm just at about 80 bucks or just about over $80. So there's not much more wiggle room here. $100 doesn't really go far these days. I, I don't know about you, but inflation is definitely uh, kicking everyone's butt, including mine right now. So we're gonna do the best we can to uh, finish this pack out and uh, get some of the best stuff we can uh, with the remaining $20. So we did pretty well for $100. Last thing you need is a ton of money to buy yourself some quality gear. And when we hear Walmart, we sometimes think that uh, maybe we're not gonna get quality gear or the best gear that we can. But if you're just getting involved with bushcraft or if you're getting involved with preparedness or some type of survival, uh, that's really one of the greatest spots to go. Even though inflation these days uh, is kicking our ass, um, for $100, I was able to really put together uh, some of the best bushcraft gear or best survival gear uh, that I could find. Uh, one of the most expensive things that you're going to buy in that type of uh, situation is your backpack. Uh, it was $14.97 size and the price. You really can't beat it. Uh, what I love about this bag, uh, first of all, is uh, you have multiple pockets on the inside. So you have a pretty big <clears throat> main compartment. You have obviously a smaller compartment back here that you can maybe put a water bladder or you can maybe put... Uh, a laptop or something, uh, but it's just a nice extra compartment that you can put uh, some gear and also the one bigger 17 liter bag. On the outside, you have two side pockets, okay, where you can carry maybe a water bottle or some other type of gear, obviously. And then you have a front, uh, front bag here, a front pocket here, where there's multiple um, smaller pockets that you can carry some gear. Two things I really, oh, and before I even mention it, uh, also really cool is the Molly system. So if you wanted to add some things to the front of this bag, then you obviously have the capability of doing that because of the Molly system. Uh, now, just jumping into like two things I really don't like about the bag, but again, when you're thinking about cost effectiveness uh, and the price of things, you have to kind of, you know, sacrifice and go with the pros and cons. So this really had a lot of pros, the cons, uh, really weren't too much of a factor, so that's why I grabbed it. Um, oh, look at that. I just realized you have one extra little pocket here on top, so that's even better. Um, but again, getting back to the two things I don't like. Number one is uh, I don't like that the pockets or the bag doesn't open up all the way. If you haven't seen my everyday carry bag, I definitely suggest you watch that video. I'll put a link right here in this video for you to check it out. Uh, it's my uh, 511 uh, rush bag. Those pockets open all the way, so the bag literally folds open flat, and you have access to everything inside. Both pockets do that, the front pocket and the main compartment. Uh, I love that bag. I use it every single day, and definitely want to check out that video. But that's one thing I don't really like about this bag, is that you can't open all the way uh, the pockets. So that's one, and number two, one of the things I didn't really think about while I was purchasing one of my other items was the side pockets aren't really big enough to carry my container uh, that I that I purchased for this. Um, that's really uh, my two biggest complaints that I have. Other than that, uh, Venture Backpack, really great bag, great for the price, and. Uh, that's, that's item number one. So going with the five C's right off the bat, obviously I started with some cordage, okay? Uh, you gotta have some good cord out there to 
make your tarps, uh, to tie things up, tie things down. Uh, my power cord was $4.88. That is an absolute steal. And this is 50 feet of paracord. So there's one. Moving right along within the five seas of bushcraft, I thought right away I need to make a fire. I know you can watch any uh, nature channel, any survival channel on YouTube, whatever it is you, you want to watch. It's very difficult uh, to be in uh, the middle of the woods in a survival situation and just to magically find two dried pieces of wood or sticks rub those bad boys together and get a fire when you absolutely need it so always be prepared to have some other form of combustion on on you uh, I found the Zippo matches these things let me tell you I'm gonna show you real quick just the box it came in the box is mangled so someone either didn't like it returned it shame on them it's taped together these things are awesome you will get a fire going just about every single time, regardless of the situation that you're in. If you don't know how to make a fire the right way, you could check out another video of mine of how to properly make a campfire. Uh, you won't have to run around like crazy and finding yourself all sorts of different type of tinder and this and that, small, medium, large pieces. I have a video, the link will be there, and I think you'll really, uh, you'll really appreciate it. But uh, the price on these were eight dollars and fifty cents even though it's a little on the expensive side very worth it inside you're gonna get a dozen or so matches okay uh, these things you can stick in the dirt you can put them in water they are not gonna blow out you get an extra striker on the inside here okay and you also have one on the bottom it's all sealed all waterproof and these will definitely when you need get a fire going so my thought process was uh the th my, my top three w what am i going to need in my top three in my bag really if i'm going to spend money this is where i'm going to spend the money to make sure i'm comfortable being in the woods cordage was cheap right cordage and cover go together your cover being a shelter uh then you have your combustion for to make your fire uh, again that was a little bit on the pricey side and then we jump up now to a container uh, the container was thirteen dollars and forty seven cents now I could have gone for some type of thermos or some type of uh, you know Yeti but those again were a little on the pricey side and this food jar really uh, even though it's big it almost is like a thermos here you can see it's got a extra cap keep everything insulated it's pretty big inside and it's stainless steel so it's not going to get destroyed if I expose it to my fire again hydration is you can't live three days without water in any type of extreme situation and that's why I chose this to keep myself hydrated and if I do have any food that I want to boil in here or cook in here uh, I have a big enough container that's going to feed me when I go out into the woods next and also a very important item uh, something you're probably gonna spend a little bit money a little bit of money on is your your cutting tool your knife all right I got here this six-in-one multi-tool for the price you can't beat it this guy was twelve dollars and ninety two cents so for under twenty dollars I got uh, like I said a knife uh, there's a flashlight in this there's a fire starter in here there's a glass breaker there's a card cutter and there's a bottle opener uh, it really is a six-in-one multi-tool so um, for the price you can't beat it I'll be able to cut wood I'll be able to cut game I'll be able to uh, process any light any type of little uh, projects that I may want to get around get done around camp very important really great for the price and that is your cutting tool keeping it in the bushcraft realm i figured i'm not going to go and spend the money which i had the choice or option to do on a tarp they were about 10 to 12 dollars and i figured that's where i can pretty much cut my corners uh, as far as being able to add other valuable items to the bag uh, instead of spending the money on a, on a tarp uh, Anyway, as a bushcrafter, you should be able to go out into the woods and make, you know, one or two different types of shelter with some of the material material around you. One thing I did pick up with that in mind 
when I do make my shelter or maybe even want to use this as my shelter is an emergency blanket. They're great when you're going to need them to stay warm or if you want to put up a very temporary shelter or even use this in a survival situation as some type of reflector so you can get people's attention. This emergency blanket was uh, $3.97. So it might have been uh, a little bit of a, of a little extra expense for something like this, but it's got multiple uses as far as uh, keeping you warm, keeping you covered, and getting someone's attention if you happen to get lost. Definitely worth the four bucks. So that covers it for you know the primary things in the bag that you want to think of when you want to buy some of the best bushcraft gear out there. That covers your five C's of bushcraft. Some of the things I figured I'd throw in there. Uh, you know, I had some extra money left over. Just with that alone, I was close to $80. So I figured, what else could I use or what else is going to make my life a little easier while I'm out in the woods? So one of those things is definitely a flashlight. Hunting around the store, I came across this bad boy. And for $4.47 with batteries, you can't beat a good old flashlight. Help you get around in the dark. You can, as a bushcrafter, make your own stakes. But again, for the price, I really couldn't ignore, uh, ignore this. They're lightweight uh, tent pegs. These were $1.78 each. Uh, so, I mean, listen, you can use these for a multiple, uh, multiple things. You can put tie lines to them. Uh, you can use this as a weapon uh, to protect yourself. You can maybe use this as, uh, you know, to, to get and kill game. Uh, whatever the case is, uh, I always like to have a couple of stakes handy. Uh, so if I did maybe in the woods find a tarp or find some type of shelter, I'd have the capability of staking myself down and making life just a little easier. So another thing I really thought uh, real handy to have and something really smart to throw in your bag, again, thinking of the best bushcraft gear that I can, that I can put in a bag is some type of uh, bandana. I always carry one with me. These are great not just to keep yourself cool on hot days, uh, but also to help you filter and strain out any sediment in your water. This was $1.97. So for under $2, it's a score. Uh, multiple uses. You can use it as a signal. You could tear little pieces of this off and use it as like a tracker if you happen to take a little trek through the woods and don't want to get lost. But again, this is a really great item for under $2. So just something extra I thought of off the top of my head. Uh, if I'm next to a river, if I'm next to a stream, and maybe I want to go fishing or whatever the case is, or guess what? Just some extra cordage, some extra line to tie some things off with. I figured this would be a great item to throw in your bag uh, to help you go and catch some fish if you're hungry at night and you want to eat. This right here, the fishing line was $2.42, and I paired that with some Eagle Claw. Uh, I think these are number 10, or no, I'm sorry, number 6 hooks. These bad boys were $1.98. So for under $4, I have myself a nice little fishing kit. I could put this together and I can eat myself a really nice dinner uh, if I really had to come down to it in the middle of the woods. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm all about thriving and being happy and comfortable in the woods. There's no reason why you should be uncomfortable in the woods. Uh, so I did pick myself up some bug spray, keeps the creepy crawlers off you. And uh, for $6, I think it was, this was $6.88. So for $6.88, keep yourself just a little comfortable in the woods and keep those bugs and mosquitoes away from you and all those ticks off your body. This is definitely a score. And although not a necessity, uh, one of the things I thought important to have is a first aid kit, okay? So uh, this was, again, a little on the pricey side. This is a Happy Hiker first aid kit. It's 65 pieces, but for $11.88, you can't go wrong. Those little nicks and cuts and scrapes uh, will definitely help you uh, just be a little bit more comfortable in the woods. And um, again, like I said, for the price and for its size, you really can't beat it. Fire9350, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. This was your idea right here. Hopefully, uh, this has given you some great ideas, but I got you a minimal or 
a budget bushcraft bag uh, that you could put together and really utilize uh, in the woods to do just about anything. Everything you see here was $99.77. So for just under $100, we did a bang up job getting some of the best bushcraft gear on a budget. Uh, I'm really happy with this pack that we put together. Uh, I think regardless of your skill level, uh, you'll be able to go out there and you'll really be able to uh, thrive in the woods. I really try to keep my buddy John in mind. I'm taking him out on a camping trip in a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a month. I'm going to have a video on that, so check that out. Uh, but I really try to keep in mind because he keeps asking me, oh, what should I buy? What should I buy? Uh, and I don't want him to think that he needs to go out and spend thousands and hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, to get some gear to spend a couple of nights out in the woods. For a hundred dollars, we can pretty much do everything that we want to do and have a great time doing it uh, with just what we have here in front of us. So uh, stay tuned for that video. And on that note, if you like tonight's video, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And more importantly, ring that bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. I really appreciate you checking me out tonight. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft signing out.